hello friends welcome to my channel i for a long time i have not recorded any session and i have not posted any videos on sap solution manager but today i thought to share this new things a new a uh, technology support or new things which are coming in sap solution man 7.2 sp12 now just with this video i'm going to start a new uh, scenario or, or i can say new initiative where i'll share what's in what's new in sap solution manager and also it's related to the it uh, support is uh, supported functionalities like focus build and focus insights and what all news are for sap solution manager 7.2 okay let's start with sp12 because which is new one and which was released a couple of months ago but yes in sap landscape or in a big companies it comes as an sap and the company follows the strategy to n minus 1 release so if sap has released 13 so people will go on sp12 and if sap has released 14 then it will go to sp13 the n minus one so that's why i thought to share the what's new in sap solution my 7.2 so let's start with the uh, start with the uh, individual functionalities so let's go to next page yeah so key areas where new features sap has released with sp12 which is process management test suite change control landscape or management, application operation, business process operations, and landscape management. So you mean to say there's no uh, major changes in that, but there are some Delta features which SAP has released with this version. So let's go one by one. So let's go to process management. So in process management, there would be a uh, bit changes and or you can say you can see on the the screens which I'm showing as of now, there are uh, some things which SAP has uh, shown as innovation, like benefits or details that SAP has released one report, RSM UD move to original bulk. So by this report, the elements from one process step to its original, it can be moved directly. Yeah. And here we can also see in screenshots which SAP has provided. However, this is a standard document, but I thought I can explain it to you guys here. Yeah? So what all things you can move, which is documents, executables, and test documents. Yeah. So let's go to next page. So there are some column settings SAP has also released with this solution documentation area where you can add, sort, or move columns from left to right or right to left it was also possible in uh, past but yes now you can see these all options are also included so benefits uh, what i can see that solution manager and solution documentation ui is there is no change but yes if you use a different uh, browsers to open this one it might change for you and you can see that yes now it seems to be a bit faster as well as a bit uh attractive as well yeah now there is no much changes in that but yes there's a documentation link with the element name so this was coming from existing as well now the major changes sap has released or innovated uh he uh sap the documentation you can add it in any of the browser even chrome safari uh, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, as well as Opera Mini. So these all are supported, but there is one thing that SAP says that you have to enable the SAP GUI office control in settings. Means whenever you go in settings of your solution documentation, you have to enable the SAP uh, or office controlled integration. 
and for that you might need to contact with, with your IT administrator whether it is allowed in a company or not but yes SAP has provided this feature feature and it will be uh, available for opening the uh, and editing the documents in any of the browser let's go to next yeah the second most important thing SAP has released with this is merging of logical component groups Earlier it was not possible, but now in SP12, SAP has released to merge different logical component groups in business process. So earlier we had uh, some different approach to do that, but now it is now available on the go that just you can go and merge your logical component group to one. Now SAP has also released a major changes or major uh, functionality to check the uses of the managed system executables. I think you are aware that in libraries the executables are, are extracted and comes to solution manager based on the library uh, generation cockpit as well as the jobs which run the uses uh, data which picks so using this sap also used they he has given one option in report section that, that you can check uses of and performance data of the managed system executables that what is a data which being used and how many times now you can see it is the solution manager as well as the managed system diagrams are here so now you can use this one to check your uh, data as well as the how many executables are being used in solution manager and um, to check your performance as well yeah now this is end of the process management changes now we will, i will cover the test management or test suite changes in next videos and uh, please share this video with your friends and please do not forget to like this video as well as subscribe my channel to get new videos as i said that i'm going to start a new initiative from me that i'll share the documents as well as i'll share my views my knowledge on with my followers and my people who have subscribed me and my channel that i will be sharing this information as well as in past i have seen that i have got many comments from people that please upload those videos uh, for different functionalities then i will try to do that and i'll update you as soon as possible so please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead be safe be at home and be positive but not corona positive thank you have a good day bye